Hey guys, Stingley here. Welcome back to another Game Jam devlog. This time we are looking at Kenny Jam 2023. So this is actually the fourth time I've entered the Kenny Jam. If you're not familiar with it, it's a two day Game Jam um, in which you are restricted to only using Kenny's assets. But since he's made tens of thousands of them, uh, that's actually not a terrible thing. The theme this year is exploration. I've got a fairly decent game idea for this, mainly because I want to make a bit of a Mega Man clone, I guess, and I'm thinking maybe that character could explore a dungeon or something like that, but we'll uh, we'll see how we get on with that. Just before we get started, I just really want to thank the 1,510 people who have subscribed to the channel already. I can't believe, to be honest, that I've reached 1,500 subscribers. I'm ever so grateful. Thank you so much. Uh, if you do enjoy the video and uh, you like what I'm doing here, please consider giving it a like or subscribing to the channel. Uh, it, it really helps me out, so thanks very much. Okay, this is what I've got so far. I've got my little barbarian dude. He's got a little walking animation, um, some collision detection on the tile map beneath, uh, and he can jump around. Fairly decent start. It's a little while later. It's still Friday. Well, just about, I suppose. My little barbarian dude now has an axe which goes with him and I have the ability to throw said axe in any direction I want. I've also got the ability to shoot it up or down uh, and obviously I can do that while I'm running around and spam it as well. You'll notice that as I shoot it, it changes colour and I've actually, if I hold down the shoot button, you see the axe actually changes to different colours um, and the idea is going to be that this is like a charged attack like Mega Man has. I'm not quite sure how it actually works in Mega Man, but I'm going to make it so that my axe goes through enemies and does more damage and things like that. I just thought I'd show you the code behind this uh, really quick, it's pretty straightforward. I'm basically using the built-in Godot movement script for a character body. And on top of that, I've added in stuff to do specifically with the axe. So I have uh, an axe spawn location, and I have the actual axe itself, and that axe changes its color based on the amount of charge level. So the way that this works is when you press shoot, um, the charge time here increments. When you release shoot, that charge time is set back to zero. The charge level is calculated from the charge time and it's basically every two seconds it goes up a level. That charge level is passed to the uh, the axe instance that gets shot across the screen. At the moment it's, set, it, it's directly setting the damage. I'm actually going to change this slightly because I think the damage actually wants to probably be more you know, based, in a, based on a calculation separately. But for right now that's what it does. Uh, it also works out the direction that you're facing, well, the direction of travel based from the direction that you're facing, but also if you are shooting it up or down, it goes in that direction only. You can see here on the axe, script itself it takes the direction uh, but if there is a y direction it sets the direction of x to be zero otherwise it shoots it at an angle okay i've got some ogre enemies in underneath me now you can see they just sort of walk backwards and forwards and uh, if they hit the edge of a platform they change direction and walk in the other direction as well you can see this guy over here is doing that i can now throw my axe at ogres and that will kill them also, although I've just lost it, I actually now have a shield and when the shield has an amount left, you'll see it visible on me and that will take some of the punishment initially. I've also made it so that when the axe is charged, it will actually go through enemies and damage enemies in the background. Okay, it's 25 to 3. Um, I was just about to stop recording for the night and I was trying to put some water elements into my level which I basically completely laid out and I clicked on make the tile set unique and it has completely broken everything. My tile set has disappeared, the tile map's got no tiles. I just, I don't, I'd made the whole game. I'm going to have to leave it for tonight. I'm absolutely shattered. But I... Yeah. 
unbelievable. A few moments later. Oh my god, I just closed um, Godot and reopened it. And when I closed it, it said, do you want to um, save your updated resources? And I said, no. Reopened it and it's 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 remembered it. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so relieved. I literally had done the whole thing. I... Okay, this bit down here has gone a bit wrong, but fine, whatever. Um, that is a massive relief. Thank God. I think I'm going to leave it for tonight before I make any more stupid mistakes. I'll see you tomorrow. The next day... Okay, it's now Saturday. It is 10.41, which means I've got probably at most... Um, what? Three and a half, maybe four hours of development time. Um, it's actually my anniversary tomorrow, so I've got no development time to spend on this game tomorrow. So, in an effort to try and, try and get this thing finished, I have created a list, or I've actually created two lists, of tasks I still need to get done. So this is the absolute must get it sorted out as a minimum viable product. Um, I need a game name, I need some screens, I need to fix some stuff, uh, I need to sort out the camera boundaries, stuff like that. Oh, and some user interface might be useful. And then anything that I can pick off this uh, nice to have list is just going to make everything better. Um, I might rejig this actually because some things are higher priority I think than others. So yeah, three and a half hours, let's crack on. Okay, it's one o'clock in the morning, um, I've made some decent progress. I now have a main menu screen and with a game name, The Pit of Death. I've wired up the controller support, so um, this now works, I'm using the controller at the moment to move around. You can see I've got some UI at the top, which is working properly, and also when I collect my shields, that works too. I've fixed the camera boundaries, uh, you can't leave the game area, and I've also got instant death working with a game over screen, giving you the option to play again or go back to the main menu. So. It works, and there's also a similar game complete screen when you actually exit out of the pit of death. Everything working pretty well. Um, the game is a bit easy. There's not an awful lot to it. Realistically, it kind of needs some more enemy variation. And it needs some more content, but it is a complete game loop. It's 1 a.m. Um, I've managed to get everything done for the minimum viable product, but realistically, I need some sounds and music so I'm going to see if I can get something in pretty quick and uh, take it from there. Okay, it's 25 past 2. I've managed to get a fair amount sorted out. I've got sounds and music, I've got coyote time and spikes in the game now and that's made it a little bit more interesting and it makes it feel a bit nicer. I haven't been able to get a screen shake in. Annoyingly, all of my screen shake scripts are still for Godot 3 and I just haven't got time to, to write a new one right now. Particle effects would have been nice, additional enemies would have been nice, but it is what it is. I've managed to get it sorted. I'm doing an export right now and uh, I need to get the itch page up and running. So the last thing I wanted at 25 to 3 in the morning was an error because Godot doesn't run on the web anymore apparently. <sighs> I'm guessing this is a Godot 4 thing because, well, it, it is a Godot 4 thing. Now I've got a honking great page to read. Try and work out how I'm going to get this working. So, great. It's now 3 a.m. and with a lot of Googling, I have managed to get my game running. It doesn't work very well in the browser, it has to be said. I've basically had to add a little known bugs thing in here saying Good 4 doesn't like web exports. I can't get the controller to work properly, but I'm just too tired, and I, I it works. Um, you can you can um, you can play the game, uh, and it sort of runs. It's not amazing, but fairly pleased, fairly happy. I'll run through this um, tomorrow, I think, to uh, to show you the full game. But for right now, I'm going to bed. As you can see, the final game works, and it works fairly well. It's kind of polished in certain places. It's definitely missing quite a lot of content. Um, I think I'd like to add one or two more enemy types in a post down update, perhaps. But that's going to do it for this video, I think. 
If you have been, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please consider giving the video a like and a subscribe to the channel. And uh, if I do do a post jam update, I will maybe record that and push that up as well. So you never know, there might be another video lurking that you can have a look at for the same sort of content. Thanks again, and I will catch you in the next one.